546 now on your Tuesday morning. And this morning, we're just a few hours away from learning who can claim victory in the nation's first presidential primary contest. All day, New Hampshire voters will head to the polls to help choose the Democratic and Republican nominees. WSLS 10 national correspondent Mark Meredith is live in Nashua, New Hampshire this morning with a behind the scenes look at what we can expect today. Mark, good morning. And good morning to you, Patrick. It's an exciting day here in New Hampshire. The snow is done and voting is just about to begin here within the next hour or so. And where we are here, we're at the Temple Street Diner in Nashua, New Hampshire. And people are still trying to decide who they're going to be voting for later today. In fact, the uh, page, front page of the paper this morning, candidates hit the final stretch. And it is just that. It is a stretch because these candidates and these campaigns, they have poured their heart and soul here in New Hampshire. We had a chance to go out onto the stump yesterday to see how those campaigns were doing. We caught up with the governor of Ohio, John Kasich. The latest polls show him now in second place here in New Hampshire. A big change from his performance in Iowa, and he's really betting on those crowds to come out and support him later on today. We're also talking about Donald Trump. He's been the front runner in New Hampshire, continues to be according to the latest polls. When you look at the Democratic race, Bernie Sanders still ahead of Hillary Clinton, but the gap has narrowed just within the last week or so since Iowa. So we're going to be following that race very closely throughout the day, as I'm sure you guys will be as well. But back on the ground here in New Hampshire, when you talk to voters, they realize how important their day is here for them today. And while the polls will be open all day, the TV ads, they're still going on the candidates are going to be out stumping as much as they can because they realize that every vote does count patrick jenna well mark while trump and sanders are expected to win is there anyone in danger of really being forced out of the race tonight we saw some drop out out of the last caucus You're right. After Iowa, we did see some of the candidates like Rick Santorum, Mike Huckabee decide to go ahead and suspend their presidential campaign. There is still the possibility that could happen. Carly Fiorina, the former CEO of Hewlett Packard, she didn't do well in Iowa. She's not looking to do too great here in New Hampshire, if you believe the polls. So uh, it'll be interesting to see whether or not she can continue on to South Carolina. That's the next contest. Uh, Chris Christie, governor of New Jersey. He has really bet hard here on New Hampshire. He's polling in the single digits, according to the latest tracking poll we reviewed. So whether or not he can keep the momentum or the money coming in, that's really the biggest point, guys. And, Mark, a lot of folks are going to go cast their votes later in the day, but there's one town there that's already decided. Right. It's amazing. When we're talking about New Hampshire, they do things that are so uniquely presidential politics, only in the Granite State. The uh, three small towns, but the most famous one, we're talking about Dixville Notch, New Hampshire. They had a chance to vote at midnight, and John Kasich, the man we were just talking about, Donald Trump and Bernie Sanders all getting support. But we're only talking about maybe a dozen or so votes. So it's not a widespread contest, but a small sample and an exciting one at that. Because look at what we are talking about it right now, and we'll be talking about it throughout the day. Guys. All right, Mark Meredith, live for us in New Hampshire this morning. Mark, thanks.